Hi Dara, so today we're going to be making this cute satellite fascinator. Yes, can you believe it was made from this cloth? Yes, I recycled it. So the first thing I did was zipped it down. Then I took out the shining part with a razor. Then I removed the zip. Then I took out the trimmings. Okay, before we get into how it was made, let's see who won our game challenge for last week. And it is Otibo ODJ. Congratulations. Please do contact us in the Ventcraft Academy reception. The link is in the description of this video and request for your gift. Now, if you want to know how we do get to have people winning, you need to probably stay till the end of this video. You'll get to see another game challenge. And I think it happens at least once a week. Who has been seeing them? Okay, enough of that. Let's jump into today's tutorial. I'm sure you're eager to see how it was done. Okay, the next thing you do is to check your material and see the biggest circle you can make from it. And that gave me a seven inch diameter so from the molded hat that i had i checked and i saw that that round small part would give me six inches which is okay because i would need to fold it on the knit cover the cloth on the knit so i cut that out with my scissors and the next thing i took my ubu gum and put it inside the fascinator base because you don't want your interface or pattern as it is to be showing to anyone when they look underneath the fascinator so i took the lining from the cloth that was the kids cloth and i put it inside and you just use your hand and straighten it out so that it glues firmly in the fascinator base then i took my scissors and i cut it out now i took my bronze hat wire and i'm going to sew it all around the rim now this to ensure that the fascinator base does not get distorted it stays as circular as it is no bending in any form now in case you want to know which kind of hat wire to use for various um, fascinators and various designs that you need to make we actually run a free training in the Ventcraft Academy reception. You might want to join us there and I will show you how to start the training. But if you're watching this probably in a later time, I have actually um, gotten membership on YouTube. Woo! So I should be uploading that also soon for the members of the YouTube channel. I've gone around I'm using my famous cutter to cut it out now. I still have those cutters for sale if you want them. Now you want to hold where you sewed the um, hat wire in firmly and that's what I'm doing right now. Once that's done, the next thing to do is to cover up the fascinator base with the stony material. So that's what I'm doing. You first of all put your uhu at the edges like so. And remember what we do after that. We do north, south, east and west i'm sure you remember if you've been following me up in the channel and then you grab the other edges now this ensures that your mold looks smooth like you can see as it is now so the next thing you want to do is cut off the excess inside after that i have cut my hat wire now this is 48 inches of hat wire and i'm taking that trimming from the cloth i'm using it to wrap up my hat wire Next thing I did was to take one yard of veil. Now the veil or netting wasn't enough on the cloth so I had to buy one. So I'm now going to cover up my hat wire which has already been covered with the trimmings from the cloth and I'm going to sew it. Now if you notice I didn't squeeze it so much. So it's almost straight as in the circle is almost straight just a little and then I'm sewing it like so. Now you can see so far we've used two different hat wires. Now if you join me in the event craft to get it free of charge to understand why we use the various ones. Now I'm cutting out the excess there like so. Next thing I'm going to do is place my fascinator base on top. And I'm going to take the same color of the material on top, not blue, because I'm going to be passing it through this um, shining fascinator base on top. So I'm making use of silver. So I'm going to sew it all the way around like so. Keep watching and learning. Okay, so I'm done sewing round. The next thing I do is take my razor blade and cut out all the veil or net that is in the middle. So I have a space in there. Then I take my bias with my electric glue gun and I stick it all around where you can see the thread. Now the silver has the silver trimmings of that cloth made a nice pattern inside, so I don't need to cover inside. All I'm doing is covering the threading on top. Then now I want to attach my Alice band. I'm making use of the big Alice band. Is what I call big Alice band. You know we have various sizes of Alice band. Okay, and I'm sewing it 
in and out. I hope you're gaining value from this video so far. If you are, please do give me a thumbs up. All right, back to the take today's training. So the next thing I did was to use the trimmings again from the cloth and cover below the bias. I noticed some thread was still showing. So I said, oh, it will make it finer. You know, you're going to be seeing that part underneath the hat. So I covered it with the silver trimming. And I also did on top too. After I did on top, I took my hand fan. Now this hand fan, this fan, so the feathers fan rather, can bend. So if you see, I put it there and I bend it like so. So I bent it on top to follow the line, this curve of my fascinator base. Okay, so I'm going to be sewing that tip there. Use, I'll sew it on the iron to hold it firmly there. It's not only that place I'm going to sew it, but I'm going to sew it there first, then sew it. In the midpoint to hold it firmly so if you're enjoying my channel and you haven't subscribed please just click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload new training so now I'm doing the mid part so that the feather fan is not you know going anywhere it sticks on the hat the way I want it okay so that's what I'm doing keep watching and learning Okay, now remember the single hand on the cloth? Yeah, it came into use also. So what I did was I folded it into two and I used running stitches and uh, sewed it all the way down the length. Like so. Once I was done, I cut out that silver part. I just wanted the blue part. Okay, then I squeezed it and like so then I twisted it I turned it round you know like forming a rose so see how oh the rose is so pretty really so the next thing I did was sew it so that it doesn't loosen keep watching and learning okay then I took it and I attached it to the iron part there you know where the beginning of the feather started so that's where I sewed it there to cover up that part so that it's not seen and it was coming up really pretty. Keep watching and learning how I sew it. Okay, so I didn't sew it all the way around. So I used my Uhu gum at the part close to the fascinator base. I put it on the flower there and I pressed it down and oh, it was coming up looking so gorgeous. But wait for it. I took a little piece of that shining material, just one layer. And I put my glue on top of it. I used Uhu gum. I wanted to use B6000, but uh, it was going to take me time because of the thin lips. Then I rolled it to form, is it petals or stamen? Don't let me know in the comment section below. It has left my head for now. I rolled it like so, and I used my Uhu gum on the base, and I put it in the middle of that flower and it was really looking so gorgeous isn't it do let me know in the comment section below and that's how i found this lovely gorgeous looking satellite fascinator i think it is fit for the duchess of cambridge kate Middleton. what do you think off to a game challenge for today so how many parts of the kids clothes did we make use of in making this gorgeous fascinator do let me know in the comment section below and the winner only one winner would have to pick will get to attend the Vencraft Academy fascinator class 3 for free so do check out this other inspiring video up there at the corner until we meet next time it's goodbye and